Hey all, this is part 5, and now we want to start looping somewhere in the middle. And the idea here is that what we keep doing is we keep initializing our index variable as 0, because if we have an array or if we have a uh, string that we're iterating over, the index is start at 0, so usually we would start at where the index starts. But in this case, we want to consider a case where it's like, okay, I don't want to actually start at the beginning. I want to start somewhere past the beginning. And in this case, we're also going to go to the end. So if I set i equal to 3, rather than starting here, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. It's going to start here. So this should only log 1, 2, 3, plus the index is applicable at those iterations. So current index is 3 because that's where it starts. And it logs the last three values in the array. Excellent. Let's also consider some array that somebody put together where there's a bunch of restaurants and then there's <clears throat> an index which uh, where the beer, or sorry, the, um, the bars start. So we have restaurants that go up until here and then from here on we have a bunch of bars. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to start our index variable 3. Sorry, we're going to start our index variable i at a value of 3, which will mean that rather than starting here, 1, 2, 3, it's going to start here. So hopefully this should log bars plus all of our the beer stein, brandy snifter, and the martini coupe, which is actually the glass that a martini goes in. Excellent. So with that in mind, let's talk about the coding challenge. We're going to complete a function that takes two parameters, an array of elements, and an index, and logs every element beginning at the input index, one at a time, to the console. Your function <coughs> excuse me, should use a loop to log every element from the inputted index until the end of the array, then return nothing. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have described, completed the described function loop starting at index. Let's start by grabbing our stub. Let us grab our test cases. So we're going to create a loop which iterates from the index to the end of the array. So instead of starting our for loop, as we have been with variable i is equal to zero, we're going to say variable i is equal to index. i is going to need to remain less than the array.length, which will let it uh, iterate through the entire array, from the index of course. And then we're going to log the current array element to the console. So array at, not index, but at i. So index is just describing where we want our indexing variable to start, but we're calling our indexing variable i. Were we to use index here, we would see that we're just going to log basically whatever is at the index inputted here, however many times are remaining in the array from that index to the end. So if we run this, actually I might show you what, that, what, the, what I mean by that. So if I did index here by accident, you're going to see that I'm going to log uh, C three times and then four two times. So to get away from that, we'll go back to I, run it, it still works. So we'll copy our function paste it into the input window, <clears throat> excuse me, and your code has a syntax error. So this looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> so what that means is that there is an error on my side. So I'm going to go fix the test for this, but the code and the process that we just described is going to work, so I'm going to leave this video up. So thanks for watching. Also, if you get this code has a syntax error, if you didn't change the name of the function, chances are the tests are broken. So please holler and send me a Slack message at some point and we'll get it fixed. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.